boar were big in Sweden, driven pheasants ruled the roost. As part of Roy's trip to Aimpoint, the gun sites company is treating him and other guests, such as Swedish YouTuber Jonas Jompen Malm, to a driven bird day in the grounds of this beautiful estate, in the first snow this area has seen for 10 years. This dusting certainly sets the place off beautifully. Our channel is called Jakt är Jakt, which, is, which means uh, hunting is hunting, sort of c'est la vie, you know, when, when everything goes to crap. It's yak to yak. And uh, it's on YouTube, and we are um, Scandinavia's uh, biggest online uh, hunting um, channel. Okay, super. Uh, and we've done, I am the co founder yep. and uh, also the host. Okay, super. Uh, but you, ca you came into it the, the, a little bit of an old way around, yeah? yeah? I was, you, I was, I was you're behind the before. camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Things happened, so I had to sort of take the step in front of the camera. Stuff. And you actually went through, did all your hunting license and did everything so you could then... Yes, I didn't actually hunt when we started the channel. I was just, you know, producing, uh, shooting, editing and uh, so on. Superb, so there's hope for David. Hey, could, yeah, he, it all. <laughs> it's like when the drummer becomes the lead singer. Right? <laughs> you, you might actually start to hunt someday. Okay. He wants We've us. We've got to go. <laughs> all right, <Good>. <laughs> As David can't drum or sing, he's staying where he is. The guests are all using Aimpoint's S1, the red dot sight designed for shotguns. We've seen these put to good use on geese and driven ground games such as hare and row, where it is traditional and legal to hunt the small deer with shotguns and buckshot. Like Bono. <laughs> <laughs> to get the guys warmed up, it's a couple of hours on the clays. Is there a decent tea here? <laughs> yeah. yeah? Good. We have a special tea for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so Roy, what do you reckon? You still miss the money shot, mate. You really? Yeah. I mean, uh, no, I, I, I honestly think you should invest in one. Well, it's warming up. It's starting to, slowly, mate. It's bitter. It is absolutely bitter. You didn't snuggle me last night either, so that was very cold and lonely. Well, <laughs> Paul. Ready? When you're just coming back and using an S1 on a shotgun, you're, you're changing. You're changing from a um, more of an instinctive shooting to to then uh, almost back to where you would be with your your driven shooting with a rifle. You've just got to sort of relearn your leads a little bit. Once you've adjusted to that, it's quite easy to reproduce that sight picture. Ready? Oh, you, yeah, good. Like Is that, that. that where you wanted? Yeah. Okay. Pull. Done. Okay. Happy? Can we go and have some coffee again? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Back to our estate, which is just metres from Sweden's southern coastline. The guns head out for a bonus starter drive. There's a duck pond not far from the house, which we mustn't disturb before the beaters are in place. Unfortunately, Roy's not in the shooting, but there's time yet. Again, just another fantastic, fantastic estate, and we've been blessed with another beautiful day. So, hopefully, we should be in for a bit of sport. A few of the guys have uh, had a bit of sport further down the line, and uh, we'll see if we uh, if we get into the running or not. On the second drive, David confesses it's his birthday and is more than happy to spend it on a romantic break to Scandinavia with Roy. Apparently, it's David's 58th birthday. I didn't, real, I didn't realise that we'd come round again there and, and I'm having to spend yet another year with Mr Wright. So um, yeah, he's, he's decided to spend it with me, it's just been such a romantic weekend. <laughs> Amazing. And we find ourselves out on a beautiful morning together walking in the woods hand in hand. Anyway, on with business. We're just in front of a, a pheasant drive here, I think it's going to be 
some nice little uh, snap shooting coming back. We've got a, a little bit of a, I don't know, 20, 30 metre gap above us. It's probably a better drive for somebody that's feeling a little bit more limber. David might need to leverage me back, but um, I'll yeah. catch you. I'll catch you. You'll catch me, thank I'll you. Catch you <laughs> it's either that I'm going to be doing snow angels. Um, <laughs> it, could, it could get fun, it is a bit slippy underfoot. Man, I'm waiting for them to get up. Roy finally gets a few birds over. Some he thinks are sporting, others not. All the guns are using steel, so does that change the distance of a sporting bird? We will chat more about that sticky issue later. Uh -huh. As nice as it is, Roy would prefer not to be quite so close to these birds. You've got a love-hate relationship with those things right now, haven't you? I always enjoyed going out on the pheasants and just did a, an awful lot of pheasant shooting. But um, obviously at the, uh, at the moment with the, um, the current status of bird flu, man, this, this is a particularly bad year. And obviously for me with the birds, with the falcons, we have to be incredibly careful. So okay. I, I, try, I try to avoid walking anywhere, anywhere near a pheasant. I try to avoid picking up a pheasant. I try to definitely avoid ducks and geese. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, I feel that I'm going to have to go home and bathe myself in Vercon and probably burn all my clothes. <laughs> Meanwhile, Aimpoint's top trainer explains to Roy who would benefit most from using the S1 on their barrel. So the ones that are wrong eye dominant, mm -hmm. so they are dominant on the left eye but they're shooting from the right shoulder. I think for them it will help really much and I'm that type of person so for me it's actually a help okay. because I got the dominance over to my shooting eye Right. so I can keep the focus and I can use both eyes open so that's one person and then I will say for these hunters it's a super good tool when you're sitting down or oh, laying nice down yeah, yeah. and uh, coming up from your position and you should take the shot and you can go through and pull the trigger when you're actually in front of the bird guy that are already good in shooting shotgun mm -hmm. I think that will slow down this type of shooter yeah, yeah. because they will be confused when they got the red dot in front of the eye and that will take the focus away from the bird. But the, the really good shooter that have hard to get the line on a certain bird, then you can get the line with it and then you can take it away again. Uh, also just to get how much in front you should be of the bird. Uh, so just get some preferences that you should be that much in front, then you have that in the head and then you can go back to normal shotgun again. Drive three and Roy is back going. Not much distinguishes this shoot from a driven day at home, apart from there being a lot more sweets on offer than booze. Swedes favour Haribo over slow gin. Roy finds his feet on this drive and gets some nice shooting. Let's finish somebody else's bird then. The last drive is going to be tricky with a small window of opportunity. Some of the guns are shooting birds lower than you would expect on a British shoot, but attitudes may have to change if we're going to move from lead to steel. And as Roy suggests, it shouldn't affect your day. Oh, I didn't record. Oh, yeah, he's recording. <laughs> <laughs> and here, a lot of the birds, you know, still very sporting birds, but not the sort of presentation of uh, pheasants that you would get on some of the high bird shoots back in the UK. They're using a, a much more traditional pheasant. They're not, uh, you know, they're not shooting some of the, um, the Michigans and things like that. But again, yeah, a fantastic day sport. You've got the camaraderie, you've got the, you know, the teamwork, and you're having just as good a day, um, you know, spending it, spending it with, with friends and uh, colleagues. Just uh, probably not going to be stretching our barrels as much as we have done previously. Just before the horn goes, we get a roebuck dance through. Good job that wasn't yesterday. <laughs> Did you get that? That was stunning, wasn't it? That was lovely watching that buck come through there. What a beautiful, beautiful scene. 
absolutely glorious. It's been a hectic three days for Lord Lupton with Aimpoint in Sweden, from cinemas to high Thank seats you. to plays to pheasant drives, <laughs> all while avoiding bird flu. This cool country has a long tradition of hunting, which is adapted as new species have arrived. It's also a nation where hunting is accepted and respected. What's not to like? For more information about the Aimpoint Micro S1, go to aimpoint.com or find it on Kitfinder.